And life is just a chain A moment spent A thousand hellos and goodbyes Maybe a love like ours Can leave out its call Right, early start this morning. We're going to Liverpool. She's enjoying her car, by the way. Thinks it's really good. Uh, so let's get this unplugged. It was meant to be a warm weather test this morning, but the weather has um, dropped down. It's not cold, but it's like 13 degrees, I think. So I'm going to change what I'm going to do today. So let's get this unplugged. Right, so what we're doing today is we're going to Liverpool. Um, and as I say, I was hoping it would be a warm weather test. It's actually 10 degrees at the moment, so that's out the window. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I generally stick it on, when I go on these long motorway journeys, I stick it on 68 miles an hour. I have it on Eco normally. And I also have it on um, the, pad the paddles on full regen. Now I keep hearing that having it on full regen doesn't make much difference. I keep hearing, I put mine on spot all the time. So guess what? I'm going to put it on spot and I'm going to put it on uh, no regen at all. Um, I'm going to see what we'll get in terms of efficiency. Now it's 150 miles there and back. So we'll have a good run. Um, and what I'm do going to do is I'm going to keep an eye on uh, this my driving and the energy consumption that it shows in here. Now, I know this car really, really well, and I mean really well. I can normally predict how many percentage it will have when it arrives somewhere. And on this occasion, if I'd have done my usual eco and full regen, I'd have expected efficiency here of around probably 3.7 in these temperatures. It will be warmer coming back, it'll probably be about 17 degrees coming back. But uh, 3.7, maybe 3.6, because it is a bit colder this morning. These tests can never be, unfortunately, really scientific. We're running into traffic, that slows us down, that increases efficiency. But we'll get a good idea, so sport. So we've put sport on, just to show you spots on there right so we're off as i say 75 miles each way 150 miles in total uh no region on and i'm i'm also i'm not going to use the um because i normally put it on the cruise control and i think that automatically controls the region so i'm going to switch it all off so region off no cruise control today and i'm going to keep it under just under 70 i'm not going to go over the speed limit i'm going to keep it about 70 miles an hour so let's go so i could tell already that the the car without the region i've never driven it really without the region i don't actually like it because i'm having to use the brakes like a normal car so it's going to use a lot more brake today than i'd usually use um, it's just started raining a bit as well. I, I don't think that was in the forecast. Uh, so that's not going to do the, uh, the, the, the efficiency very good. Oh, it's a, only a very, very light drizzle. So um, one thing I immediately notice, once you've been driving a car, an electric car that self brakes, whilst this hasn't got one pedal driving, it does slow up down a lot on the highest setting. It's really weird to be having to brake with it again I don't like it it's much better with the self braking so I don't like that so I don't like that being off for that reason 
Um, another thing is, when I did my review, and check out my review link above, six months review that I posted up the other week, I did a thing where I went into what irritated me about the car. One thing I missed, there's no low screen wash warning on this car, and I ran out of screen wash again the other day. That's a real pain. So uh, why I didn't put a low screen wash warning, I don't know, I can only assume it was to save a bit of money, but it's bad. So um, keep checking your screen wash if you have one of these cars. So the other thing I'm doing is, I'm, well, I'm going to stick to the speed limits the whole time. I'm not sort of accelerating slowly or doing anything like that, trying to conserve battery. I'm just going to sort of drive it as you would if you, and this car's fairly fast, you know, it accelerates not to 60, I think it's 6.9 seconds, which is it's pretty nippy. It's not the fastest car on the road nowadays, but you know, that would have been a fairly good uh, performance on the car a decade ago, a very good performance. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to stick to the speed limit, but I'm just having abandoned, if you like, any attempt at driving efficiently. You know, on a journey like this, I hardly ever touch my brakes. I've touched my brakes more, and I've done 15 miles or so, that's all I've done so far. I've touched my brakes more in 15 miles than I would do usually in the whole 75 mile journey. So we've sort of reached the bottom now, and uh, we're on about 3. Point, well, we are on 3.5 miles per kilowatt an hour. So I would have expected to be on high th higher threes than that now, driving my normal way. Having just come down there. So what did I say? What did I predict by the time we get to Liverpool? It might be about 3.2. Might be a bit higher than that actually. Temperature's still nine degrees. But of course, coming back, it's going to be a bit warmer. So that bit was a good run. M62 down to Liverpool's always good until you get into Liverpool. And this is really bad. Uh, coming off down Edge Lane. Um, yeah, not bad at all. It's dropped a little bit, but 3.8 miles per kilowatt hour. So what's that? It's about. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll ask Google. Hey Google, what's 3.8 multiplied by 87? 3. 8 by 87 is 330.6. So, 330 miles range currently, and that's just driving this like a normal car. Not attempting to go slow, I've been at the speed limit at least where I can on this trip. Um, I've not had it on any regen. Uh, I've not had it on Eco, it's on Sport the whole way, and we're still getting 330 miles out of it, so it's much better than I anticipated, at least at this stage in the journey. So we're here. So through here. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look at the figures, how we did in the end. So you see we only averaged 32.6 miles per hour, but that is on a time, not a distance basis. And we averaged 3.7. Uh, we've done, in terms of miles, we've done um, 75 miles exactly, I think it is. So, um, and in terms of battery, we have got 77% uh, left. So, you know, yeah, so well over 300 miles. We'll have to see what it is when we get back tonight. Um, temperature's now 13 degrees. So it's about what I'd have expected, as I said, uh, setting it on the eco, etc. I think I'd have probably um, ended up with a couple of points higher. But I have got driven faster when I could than I would normally. Right, it's just after seven o'clock here in Liverpool. Been a long day, we're just about to head back. And... Uh, do a test on the way back as well. And same rules, sport mode, no regen. And let's see how we get back. I'm not sure what the temperature is now. I'll just check it in the car before we set off. So, uh, temperature is currently showing as 13 degrees, although I am in this uh, multi-storey car park, as you can see. 
uh, so it might actually be cooler when we get out. So, so as I say, same rules, look, 76% battery left, which isn't bad, is it? Uh, so let's go. I don't know what's going on with the traffic here, but I don't know when they come this way, but anyway, must be a problem. In half a mile, keep right to stay on M62. Right, so it's just after 8 pm. It's actually a lovely evening. Uh, 16 degrees, it's gone up to now as I've moved away from the coast near Liverpool. Um, it's a full speed run on the motorway the whole way. So, keep right to stay on M62. Ever since I hit the um, M62 coming out of Liverpool, I, I haven't really slowed down below 70. Um, so it's going to be a full speed run back. It's rare you can drive at this speed the whole time. Interestingly though, given that I've been going doing 70 since I came out of Liverpool, and I know this is on a time thing, but this says my average speed is 40 miles an hour. I just can't see it. I don't know what the, I don't know where these figures come from on this average speed on here. As I've said before on my previous videos, because there's no way, even on a time basis, it's been 40 miles. Uh, 40 miles an hour, I just can't see it. So we've just got to the M62 summit again, um, and 2.9 we're averaging now, so I wasn't far off, was I? Uh, traffic's a little bit busier here, but still doing, I'm behind another car, I'm waiting to pull out, still doing 65. Middle lane hogger, just sat there in the middle lane, and he's VW Sirocco. Let's get past him and we'll coast down this other side of the M62 when we get there. So we've reached the bottom four miles on. Now I can say because I drive this route a lot that I would that's gotten to 3.2. So I think it was 3.1 at the just at the top of that hill, 3.2 at the bottom. I 100 percent get more regen when the regen's on and I'm driving it on self-driving. I'd normally gr gr grab back probably about 0.4 coming down there. So definitely going down hills. It uses more energy coasting than it does with the um, regen on. And actually before we knock off for the evening, let's just have a look at the figures. It did actually go up to 3.3. So that's only fair. So 3.3 and I think it would have done 3.7 on that trip on the eco to 3.8 so that's really good isn't it i mean and also i think that we've we can put 0.1 on due to the speed uh, i guess we were a bit faster than the 68 over on the eco so that would make it 3.4 so it's losing 0.3 to 0.4 so i actually think rather than 40 miles you're getting an extra about 30 miles out of it um, by putting it on the eco and the full uh, regen so 30 miles on a long trip that is my final conclusion and what you gain extra from using the eco mode and or, and or regen i'm not sure which if it's a combination of both or if it's both of them or just one but either way if you do that you'll get about a roughly on out of a battery an extra about 30 miles out of it so it's worth doing if you're on a really long trip and you want to eke out all that mileage it's definitely worth doing and to be frank i just pref i pref i prefer driving the car with the uh, full region on anyway because uh, you don't have to brake it's it's a lot less it's a lot easier and using the self-driving on a long trip like that's much better because it's a lot less tiring than driving it the whole way like i've done today both ways so as i say thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you later